I probably shouldn't admit to this, but there's a reason why you're only seeing like one side of this mug. It's because my mum has a cup with me and Splash on it. <laughs> that is so embarrassing. I promise you, that was not my idea. It's not even a nice photo. All of my heroes fading. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Tabitha and that's pretty much all you need to know. <laughs> so my dad surprised me with some Ed Sheeran tickets. The concert was last weekend. However, in January, he realized that the tickets were most likely not legit. So that wasn't ideal. He bought them off the site called Via Gogo, Via Gogo, or some shit like that. I don't know. Basically, it wasn't the like official seller of it. It was kind of like an eBay type thing where someone else had bought the tickets and they were selling them on. Reason why we were pretty sure they weren't legit is because the person who bought them was called Akbar Muhammad. On Saturday, the 31st of March, me and my dad drove down to Dunedin, which is in New Zealand. It was a five and a half hour drive because there was lots of traffic, so. I really enjoyed the experience. When we got there, it was around five or six o'clock. Fridge is he doing on a big pile? We actually stumbled upon another wee plot twist, uh, which was great fun. Dad had booked this like Airbnb hostel type of thing for out accommodation. The people who owned it were Chinese. They didn't really speak much English, which was slightly problematic. Moving on. Swords or lances or something. These dudes. He's something around there, so he's probably meant to have a sword. Is he meant to like shake? Mm. There might be something. No, so there's meant to be something in there, so he's probably got a spear or something. Mm -hmm. On the Sunday, we decided to go and explore the city. One of the things that I did want to do was to go and see the Ed Sheeran mural, which I must say the mural itself exceeded my expectation, but there was a bit of a problem with it. So like getting a photo was fine, but it was the process of getting a photo that was a struggle. The crowd of like 20 to 30 people standing around watching you pose and have your photo taken it was not a nice experience. After that, we went to the museum. And I know what you're going to say. Tabitha, why would you go to a museum? Stop judging me. I know you're judging me. I know you're thinking I'm a nerd, but you know, just wait. Just you wait. Just you wait, okay? Just wait. It actually has living things in it. I know, like, does it even count as a museum? I don't know, but... <laughs> so this museum had like an enclosure for tropical butterflies. And I know that sounds super girly, but there were guys there as well, and old people, and like fetus people. You know, they had everyone there, and everyone was like having the time of their lives, so... Stop judging. It had three stories of this like exhibit. Butterflies were pretty cool and they would come down and like land on you and then all the little kids were like trying to get the butterflies to sit on them and I was like just chill out peeps Just a wee brief interruption, um, bit of a disclaimer, warning, if you don't like spiders, highly recommend you don't watch the next part of this because there are three incredibly large tarantulas that are going to come up on your screen. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
No. 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 Hell no. No. I refuse. No. That is rejected here and to the face of their enemies, to irritate their eyes and irritate their lungs. I was horrified seeing them in person and editing it I absolutely hated because I didn't like spiders. Although I did willingly put myself in such a traumatic experience, I actually did put myself in another traumatic experience. I decided that it would be a fun idea to walk up the steepest street in the world. Holy guacamole. It didn't even have a good view. I didn't even have a photo that I could have posted on Instagram. Yeah. Moving on from that, now comes the time when we had to find out whether our tickets were legitimate. Okay, so I was telling everyone that, you know, if they were fake, I would have been totally fine, I wouldn't have been faced by it, but you know, deep down in my little wee heart, um, I would have been really crushed if they were fake, uh, all my hopes and dreams just gone down the drain. But thankfully, they were legit. However, we did get searched and our bags did get searched. I'm saying that partly because it makes the story sound more like, you know, entertaining, but the moral of the story is that um, everyone just got searched. But, you know, we'll exclude that. We got searched. I'm pretty much just gonna play you the random clips that I got of it because, yeah. so much for watching let me know if you did like this type of video I don't really know if it's something you want to see again I know it's not something I really do but yeah I just thought I would spice it up a little bit if you guys have any video requests please comment them down below and I will try my hardest to film them make sure you guys are following me on Instagram my links are down below hope you guys have a lovely week and I will see you next time bye All of my